This is a second stimulus check update. In this video, I'm going over the HEROES Act and how it would give you a $1,200 one-time payment, as well as some other details with the bill that would benefit you. But first, I'm David, and if you want the latest second stimulus check information, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm publishing the latest updates when it comes to the stimulus check, how much you'll get, and when you would get it. Yesterday, a new proposal came out called the HEROES Act, and it is offering a one-time payment, not a monthly payment like the other proposals that have been going around. Let's get right into it. According to CNBC, very similar to the first stimulus check under the CARES Act, you would get $1,200 per individual, $2,400 for a couple, and dependents, instead of $500, they would get $1,200 per eligible child with a maximum of three children. So that would give a family of five $6,000 one-time payment. Now, when it comes to dependents, dependents ages 17 and over basically got screwed in the first bill, but this one, they would be able to get stimulus checks even though claimed as a dependent. So there were many people on SSI, SSDI, who were adults over 17, who were claimed as dependents and were not eligible to receive the $1,200 stimulus check. With this new one, they will get that. Also something I really like about this is that the proposal makes it clear that payments must be delivered automatically to individuals receiving government benefits such as Social Security, SSI, and veterans. So this, in terms of the first one, it was a big mess where people in these categories still haven't yet gotten paid with the first stimulus check. Uh, but with this one, it'll be automatic payments because with the last one, it was added retroactively. So they didn't think about those categories in the first one, and then they tried to deal with it later on, which created a big mess. Now, they're saying with this second round of payments that it could be easier for the IRS to get the money where it needs to be deposited since they already did it a first time. Hopefully that's true, although the IRS did not prove itself competent with the first round of checks. Let me know if you agree. Now we're jumping over to a Forbes article. So probably one of the favorite things out of this $3 trillion uh, in stimulus spending would be student loan forgiveness proposal to cancel $10,000 of student loan debt. Probably one of the last important parts of the bill that would apply to many Americans would be the extension of the $600 per week unemployment benefits through January. So originally the $600 unemployment is scheduled until July and there still are many people who haven't even gotten a single unemployment check due to the states being backed up and not being able to handle the volume. So what this would do is extend it until January, which I think would help a lot more people, especially since we don't even know how uh, bad the economy is going to get over the next few months, even if the pandemic ends tomorrow. Now I'll briefly go over other parts of the bill that are important, but I won't mention any numbers or get too much into detail. Just want to give an overview. So nearly one trillion in aid will go to state and local governments because many states are about to go bankrupt because they can't handle the amount of spending that's going on without money coming in. Hazard pay for essential workers expanding coronavirus testing, contract tracing and treatment, enhancing tax credits for employers to keep their to keep workers on their payrolls, providing full COBRA subsidies for those who lost their employer, employer provided health care coverage, additional money for U.S. Postal Service. Uh, so there'll be about 25 billion going to the U.S. Postal Service support to help renters and homeowners make monthly rent, mortgage, and utility payments. So this bill isn't as generous in terms of direct payments of $2,000 a month that we may have heard with other bills. Unfortunately, there are three parts of this bill that probably won't complete it or will actually delay negotiations in getting it done. So before I get into this next part, just wanna let you know I'm not a Democrat or Republican. I'm an independent. I believe in both sides. I don't pick one or the other. The reason why I say this is because the information I'm providing you is completely unbiased, just presenting the facts. So the HEROES Act, this current bill, is proposed by the Democrats. Obviously, Republicans, Democrats don't get along. Now, when I mention Democrats and Republicans, I'm just referring to the politicians, not citizens and individuals. So let's just drop the labels and we're talking about these politicians who just never get along and are constantly playing kids games with each other. But just for the sake of explaining, I'm gonna use the terms Democrats and Republicans. So Democrats propose this bill, Republicans do not like it. They call it dead on arrival. The reason why is because 
the Republicans wanted three things, payroll tax cuts, they wanted legislation to protect businesses uh, that won't get sued when opening up during this pandemic. And the third thing, which is mainly just President Trump, which is infrastructure. Uh, other Republicans don't really agree with the infrastructure. And if they included those three things in this bill, then it probably would have had a better chance of getting approved. Now, whether or not the Democrats believed in these three things that should go into the bill is irrelevant. They just needed to put those three things in so that Republicans would be happy and agree. And then this would be passed and Americans would get their money sooner. To be honest, I think the politicians that are proposing a lot of these bills know that they are not gonna pass because they're too high or most politicians won't agree on it, which then puts their name out there, which gives them more publicity. And every politician, doesn't matter good or bad, is always seeking higher office. So I think a lot of these are just marketing schemes for their own personal gain. I believe the real people in charge, the elites, they constantly want the Democrats and Republicans, whether politicians or citizens, to battle each other because as long as they are against each other, they're able to be easily conquered. Sorry for the rant, I just don't think these millionaire politicians could relate to the millions of Americans who are struggling on a daily basis to pay for their medical bills or medicine, to pay for food, and worrying about where the money is going to come from in order to feed their kids. There are millions on the brink of homelessness, and I just think these politicians aren't taking it seriously enough. So I'll keep you updated on what's gonna happen with this second stimulus check. So far, nothing is gonna happen yet, although the good news is when it does pass, the payments will probably go out a lot faster since they learned from the mistakes in the first round. And if you wanna watch more second stimulus check updates, you could click this playlist over here. It talks about all the different proposals that are going on, or click this link over here, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, stay safe, and hopefully you get more money soon. Thank you for watching.